I think we should introduce Coho to the snow outside, out on the deck. What do you guys think? He's not afraid of water. Let's see if he hates snow. Look what is outside. What is that white stuff? Go see. What's this? What's this? Go get it. Watch. Woo. He's, he's not sure he wants to step outside. Granted, he's never, ever been outside other than when we found him. Never let him step out there. Because we allowed Mason to step out on the deck and hang out with us. Well, then he sneaks out. So, here, you want a little snow? You can eat it. It's a form of water. Sadie, do you want to play out in the snow? Come on. Here, Sadie. What is this stuff? It melts. Go outside. Go outside, Sadie. <laughs> for a snowfall for Sadie, she's had 11 years of snow, so it shouldn't be anything. And you can see by her footprint, she's been out to go to the bathroom this morning. But yeah, it snowed overnight, and now uh, it's winter. Suddenly, just like that. I was mowing yesterday, and today it's winter. Sadie doesn't want to hang out out there. This will put an end to the sore on Sadie's foot. She's allergic to... The atmosphere in the autumn I don't know what she's allergic to probably tall grasses but that'll put an end to her soreness on her paw every fall she gets that and when winter comes that sore heals right up and I can see it's already halfway healed up already well Coho didn't really care about the snow at all he's like indifferent because he doesn't go outside so he's like I don't know I don't care <laughs> Excited. It's Friday and we're going to the lake. Yeah. Hi. And so we don't have snow on the ground as we leave. I bet there'll be snow here. Well, there'll be snow at the lake. I don't know if it's going to snow here, but for sure at the lake. Well, it's November and in Minnesota that means it's deer hunting time. And up ahead you see, behind a tractor, you see a deer stand. That is where someone is going to put in the woods tomorrow, or actually tonight, get it all ready. And then they hunt from there. So you sit in there all day and wait for a deer. Minnesota deer hunter opening is tomorrow. Deer hunting starts tomorrow. I don't deer hunt, but this is the major part of the state where people hunt. Or this is one of many of them. But there's a lot of deer around here. There's a lot of hunters. And they begin tomorrow. Probably at sunrise, I'm not sure. I don't hunt, so I'm not, not real sure. I only hunt waterfall once in a great while like I've gone with friends before but deer hunting is an art it's a lot harder deer hunting is set to coincide with the deer rut which is the mating season the female deer are very fertile right now and they're looking to mate and uh, so they they do mate this time of year because they carry uh, they're pregnant all the way until spring. It's a very long gestation period for deer. And uh, so they're going to be pregnant all winter, which is kind of hard to believe in Minnesota that, you know, that's, that's a stress on a deer's body to be pregnant. And you're in the worst time of year weather-wise. But that's how it works every year. This is the deer mating season. And uh, so deer hunting season is built to correspond with the deer mating season and uh, so there the deer are running all over the place this time of year because the male are chasing the female the fe female are looking for male and they're mating and the hunters are out and everybody's in the woods and everybody's having lots of fun but I'm just gonna go to the cabin and make some chili actually tonight is fish fry so uh, we're gonna eat a whole bunch of fish at the VFW. <laughs> Hunting opener for deer is usually the time of year when it starts to snow for the first time. And you can see that there's been a little dusting of snow here this week, but we're supposed to get quite a bit more tonight. It's pretty misty and cold out. It's 29 degrees already Fahrenheit, so it's getting colder pretty quick. And there's a deer sign for you. There's so much deer around here. They walked through our 
around or near our yard almost every day. You can see fresh tracks every morning. It's my favorite time of year. It's time for the annual fish fry. And uh, only this year, it's the Anal fish fry. Anal, I'm going to the Anal fish fry. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't tease because I, I don't know how to spell annual either. Happy snow day, Karen Lynn. It finally snowed. It's beautiful at the lake with snow on it. I got snow on my pumpkin. The lake is starting to freeze. The wind is blowing through the tall pines. Two eagles just landed. These are the two eagles that hang out on our lake. We're on the other side of the lake going to an indoor church garage sale. And they found a cart and some deer. Look at those beauties. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. That one's going to land up in the tree. He's going to circle back for his food. Awesome. The speed at which the snow on your hood will finally break away and just fly off of your truck. Trying to find that speed. 60 maybe? Still sticking. Can you believe the snow is sticking to my hood at 65 miles an hour? Yeah, this is the snow you can make snowmen out of. It's more like cake frosting. Which snow will break off today is 76 miles an hour. Look at that, you Tubalonians. Even in the winter, we go garage sailing. This one's at a church. This should be a good one. I love Minnesota. <laughs> well, you Tubalonians, it's official. Winter is here, and we're actually bringing the kayaks and boats up to the house. So that's the point at which I admit winter is here. <laughs> I kept them out there to the point where our paddle boat was full of ice and we had to chisel the ice out of it. So Karen's like, we waited a little too long. <laughs> oh well. Well, so it's the end of Halloween. It's the end of summer. Winter has begun. And it's cold, it's snowy, it's icy. We got... <laughs> I grabbed you, you silly. Karen did the trick that I always do. I always pretend to fall. I go, whoa! <laughs> you gotta drag your foot and then lean way back. You go like this. You go, whoa! <laughs> hey, Karen, film me doing that. I gotta show it. Here, aim this to me. Okay. So this is how you pretend to fall. You come out of church icy and so, right after someone says be careful it's icy you go, oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> it's fun <laughs> okay. what kind of tracks is that people we're thinking raccoon what is that yeah, it supported when they walked on it. Could be muskrat. We're thinking not a uh, beaver because it's, we don't see the dragging tail. Let's see how cold that sounds. Not summer. Now we got to bring in the canoe. What's that? Yeah. We still have our bay open. And Rolo was out here running around. I'm actually standing on ice. Whoop! <laughs> She's used to my... I'll probably really fall down and she'll think I'm still faking it. All right. Bye-bye, Summer. been watching you do the art on the wall. <laughs> so
So Karen just painted this. Uh, ran into that. Huh? Karen's been chalking this. And the cat's been watching her. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. That is awesome. Cat wants to know. Cat wants to know about this. <laughs> Birds are flying the wrong direction. They're not going south, they're going like east. Hello, you Tubalonians. Well, I found this to be funny. Ways to amuse myself while driving in a rental car through five states. <laughs> I delivered an aircraft down to uh, somewhere in Nebraska, and now I'm traveling home back to my homeland in Minnesota. But do you get it? Hurts, don't it? Get it? Your brother or your sister growing up or your best friend. And you go, you want a Hurts, don't it? And they'd say, sure. And you, then you punch them and say, Hurts, don't it? <laughs> okay, I'm amusing myself. For any of those of you that don't drive in the winter, this is what it looks like. Great big wet sloppy snowflakes. So I'm trying to get home. The speed limit is 80 and there's no way we can get anywhere near 80. Darn it, it's going to take me longer. Coho, you are now a cartoon. What do you think of that? How about you, Mason? You want to be a cartoon? <laughs> Rolo, what is she dancing with? What is that? <laughs> <laughs>